Hello everyone and welcome back to the Witch of Bees and Bones. Um, I'm tired. I'm going to be straight up. Uh, it is Valentine's evening. I am finished with work. Uh, busy day for floral designers. Um, I'm very grateful for the business and for the customers and lovely clients. And I wasn't going to make a video until, you know, tomorrow or Friday or whenever, but I I realized on my drive home tonight that I had had some things on my mind, so I thought I would just sit down um, and kind of have a chit-chat of a video. Um, over the last several days, uh, things have been really busy and hectic, and I've been getting up. I always get up early, uh, but I've been getting up super early and just like getting ready and heading into work to get things done. And a couple days, I didn't do my morning routine of my tea and my oat milk uh, and my lighting of the candle on the Palo Santo and, uh, you know, doing my morning cards. And I realized how much that practice benefits me. I also started thinking about how much my practice has changed since I did a video, and I think it was only like three weeks ago. It might have been a month ago. I don't know. What is time? I'm not convinced we're not all in a sim, so um, tangent. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Um, I hope this helps someone or or y'all can, can glean something from it. Um, so I I love a routine. I I it 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 calms me. Um it gives me happy chemicals when I can, you know, check things off a list. And like I said, the last couple mornings I just I haven't I didn't want to get up super like 4 a.m. Um, so, cause I, I've just been really tired. Um, and I'm like, oh, you know, I won't, I won't do my morning routine today. I won't pull cards today. I won't journal today. I've, I've just, I've got shit to do. So I'm just going to get it done. And I know that that happens. Um, I can't imagine for those of you that have human children, like how you, how you exist. I, like, I, I don't understand how all that works to be totally honest. Um, so Yesterday, I, my my thoughts felt a little more jumbled, and I, you know, I was like, oh, things are hectic, you know, whatever, and then it occurred to me today, like, oh, my sitting down and and doing my morning routine with the candle and the Palo Santo and the cards and the journaling and the tea and the quiet really sets the tone for the rest of the day. And when I don't do that, I, I run myself, like I, I just, I, there's no place to put all the thoughts and questions and all of that into my journal and into my intentions with the cards and such. And it, um, I mean, I'm fine. I did fine. And, and it is hectic. And sometimes that just happens, but it occurred to me how beautiful of a practice that is and how I'm going to, try to be more mindful about maintaining that um, in future super, super busy times. Um, I also realized that when I did my video, um, that my practice has changed slightly. Uh, as, as I've said in prior videos, you know, getting the wake-up call to, to put a pin in shadow work for now I'm giving myself the month of February off. I'm considering taking March off from shadow work as well. It's been really difficult to not use the decks I'm used to using, to not um, I don't want to say that I'm not digging deep because I am. I'm just doing it from a different perspective. Um, I like darker things. Darker things make me really comfortable. Um, and it's not that shining light on scars is a problem for me. Um, I've got scars on the, on, on the inside and on the outside. Um, 
from injuries and surgeries and such. So that that isn't the problem. It's just the place that it can take me and kind of drop me off and leave me for a while if if I'm not aware. So I'm trying to give myself a break, which means some of the decks that I really love and that I really connect with, um, I'm not allowing myself to use currently. And one of the decks, which is the Obsidian Oracle, which I, I did a video on a couple of weeks ago, um, made the cut. It's it's a darker deck, but it's nature-based, and I wouldn't call it a heavy deck. Um, it's intense, but it's not... Um, I also got the black copy of it, so it's, I, I believe there's a white copy. If I, I'll link it down below. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain there's a, 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 a white version of this deck, uh, same imagery, but in a different cardstock, different color. And I, of course, chose the black because, you know, black, it's what I, it's, it, it, it speaks to who I am as a human. Um, so I've been using that and I've been using the Woodland Wardens deck. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm desperately missing my Weaver's Oracle. Um, and every morning I have this little battle with myself of like, oh, well, you know, just like pull a card. It, it's okay. And I, and would it be okay? Yes. But I'm really trying to commit myself um, in this endeavor um, to, again, taking a step back from the shadow work. And that deck connects me so acutely into this really deep part of myself that I spent a lot of time with. And it's a part I'm comfortable with. And I appreciate that because I know how hard it is for for some po folks to do shadow work. I'm fully aware of that. I, I don't think that I'm necessarily the norm, um, you know, in, in clients that I've worked with, they find shadow work really uh, scary or laborious or difficult and and not doing it has, has been really, really challenging for me. And every day um, I have this little conversation with myself about, well, you know, you could just use the Weaver's Oracle today. It's it's not a dark deck and it's not a dark deck, but it really, it really very much is a shadow work deck for me. And I'm, I'm trying to give myself some space around that and straight up, it's been really hard. Uh, and even more so now that, uh, things have been so hectic and I'm tired and my body's a little run down, um, I want to, I want that kind of comfort of knowing what I'm getting, um, the known as opposed to the unknown. Cause both of these, um, Obsidian Oracle and Woodland Wardens, though I've, I've used them consistently, except for the last couple of days, um, you know, I'm getting to know and I love them. I'm crazy about them, but I haven't used them long enough to be, you know, to have that comfort of them. And so it's been a real challenge and I just, I know I've said it, but I, I, between not having, not, not taking the time the last couple of mornings to do my routine and then the switch up of not using the shadow work decks, um, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit, uh, and not in a bad way. Like I'm, it, it's kind of like cracking me open in certain ways, which I need. And I've realized that a lot of things that have happened over the last few months, um, have been really fucking hard and, uh, challenging and painful, but they're, they're cracking me open. Um, and though that can be really painful, I get to grow new things in those wounds um, and I get to come out on the other side of other things and I get to grow and I get to heal and I get to expand and um, I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful that I'm, I'm taking that, um, that tact, so to speak. Um, I've also had a fair bit of anxiety lately. So even though I've been crazy busy at work, um, I don't know if you can tell because I think my laptop is in a different place, but I painted this door the other night. Um, and then I also painted my front door last night in the wee hours. 
um, just because I wanted, like I needed to be busy and, uh, and that helped. Um, and I appreciate that, but now I'm thinking I probably should have taken some time with my ducks and that might've been of a greater benefit, but I'm so used to the routine of pulling cards in the morning that doing it at night seems strange to me, but once I get done with this video, I'm going to take a shower, um, going to pull some rose thorns out of parts of my body that, um, they just get stuck when you're trying to sh shred them, um, or when you're trying to dethorn them. And it's, it's, it's a whole thing. Um, but I'm going to sit down and spend some time with my ducks tonight. But I, I again, tangential, uh, y'all know this by now, but I have been, sometimes I use cards as clarifiers and sometimes I don't. Um, but lately, and again, this, that's the exception of the last couple of days, but lately I've been using the Obsidian Oracle and um, the Woodland Warden's deck. And sometimes I pull this first and use this as a clarifier, and sometimes I pull an Obsidian Oracle card, and then I use this as a clarifier. And because this deck has animals and stones, and this has a lot of animals and plants, they work really, really well together. Um, so if any of you have these two decks, if you haven't used them that way, it's been really helpful because um, not both of these cards give you a really good feel, even even if you're not using the book and you're just using, um, you know, your intuition or you're you're just kind of working with the imagery. It works great. However, even if you do use the book, so like if either of these are new to you and you want to use the guidebooks. It's amazing how they just, they, they work so well together. And I did that video with the, the frog cards that I pulled. And that was the first day that I had used the two decks together. And so I've been using them as clarifiers every day. And so instead of pulling a card, I've been pulling a card and a clarifier um, and utilizing these, which is, it's, it's interesting, it's introspective, it's fun, um, because they kind of, one will give you a message and the other one will kind of give you more of a layer on top of that, um, or a direction to go. Uh, one might give you an idea, the other one gives you an action. Uh, so I would highly recommend using these two together. Uh, they're, they're just, they're, they're great decks, they're beautiful. Um, I'll link them below. I know I talk about them regularly, but these are my, these are my decks right now. Uh, cause I'm not letting myself use the other decks. Uh, and speaking of other decks, full transparency, there will be some, um, uh, I don't want to even call them reviews, but deck conversations coming up probably next month. Um, when I started this channel, um, the Aries, um, who loves shiny, pretty things came out in me and I ordered a f not a ton. I didn't go crazy, crazy, but I, I, I went a little over the top and I ordered a fair amount of, of decks. Um, four, I think. I don't want to lie to you guys. Four or five. I think it's four, but I don't. Anyway. And because again, they're darker decks and they, when I opened them, they seemed like shadow work decks to me. I looked at the images um, and then I put them back in the box and I put them on the shelf um, as much as I wanted to, you know, dig in. Uh, I didn't and I'm proud of myself for that. Um, but I'm also currently on a, um, I don't want to say a spending freeze. If something comes up, then something comes up. Um, but I, I also don't, I don't love the, um, you know, co commercialism and, and all of that. And I, I know that a lot of these cards are made by artists and I love supporting artists and, and all of that. And it's not that I'm never going to buy another deck again, because that would be a, 
a bold-faced lie, and we all know that's not going to happen. But for right now, I have I have my my tried and true. I have my tried and true shadow work decks. I have some new decks um, that I'm gonna you know play around with and and talk to you all about those, and we'll see how that goes. Um, there was a couple of them I'm not sure about. Um, I may end up. Um, gifting those to someone else if I if I find somebody that really connects with them uh, but I haven't used them yet and I don't want to do it purely based on the artwork or on the on the guest book uh, the guest book the um the guidebook um sorry I'm <laughs> so I just wanted to come on here and ramble evidently um thank you as ever for all of your support and your lovely comments um, there might be some that I've missed over the last few days from my last video. Um, I'm going to take a look at those in the next day or two, and I, of course, will respond. It's important to me that you all know that when you comment, um, I, I, I don't respond feeling as though I have to. I really want to. I appreciate people are busy, and, and you taking the time out of your life to, you know, either send me a DM or to follow me on Instagram or to send me a comment. It, it means a great deal to me because I know that this is a new channel and, you know, I'm not really sure what direction it's going, but I just want to stay authentic and make videos when I'm called to do so. Um, and I just, I really appreciate all of you and your feedback and your questions. Um, a couple people uh, have asked about um, I've mentioned my my poison garden. Um, they wanted to know more about that. I am planning on doing a video, but I'm going to wait till it's blooming so I can get some shots of that or do some sort of a vlog thing, which I don't fully know how to do, but I can probably figure out between now and then. I think it'll just have more of a an impact and be more interesting if you can see what I grow as opposed to my just talking about plants. Um, and I'd love to show it to you because it's really, when it's in full bloom, it's really, really lovely. Um, so I thank you for listening to my rambles. Thank you for showing up. Thank you, thank you for clicking on the video. Um, feel free to share it with your friends or to comment. Um, and I hope you all had a um, lovely Valentine's Day or that you ignored it entirely, whatever works for you. Um, Y'all mean so much to me, and I hope you're doing well. Uh, try to find something beautiful tonight and uh, let it let it soothe you a little bit, because that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to take my shower. I'm going to give Elijah a bunch of love, and I'm going to sit down with my cards. But I appreciate all of you, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.